We all know that 2020 was a difficult year and we have one more thing to wrap up before completely putting it behind us. Tax season. Whether you're expecting a big check from the IRS or you're panicking because you owe money, here are some things you can expect when filing your 2020 taxes. Happiness starts at home. Happiness starts at home. Happiness starts at home. Hi, I'm Rachel Brock with Five Star Real Estate. We all see the impacts of inflation in our everyday spending, from groceries to housing. Fortunately, the IRS understands the need to change tax brackets to keep up the pace of the current value of the US dollar. So income brackets did increase in 2020 to accommodate that inflation. As a refresher, your tax rate is based on which tax bracket you are in. Here's how the tax brackets are broken down from the IRS for 2020. Tax deductions help lower the amount of income subject to federal income taxes. The standard deduction for 2020 increased to $12,400 for single filers and $24,800 for married couples filing jointly, which could help reduce your taxable income. But how has the coronavirus impacted our taxes? Stimulus checks. If you receive the maximum amount allowed by the government, you do not need to include any information about your payments when you file your taxes. However, if you didn't receive a payment or you received a partial payment, you may be eligible to claim the recovery rebate credit. When you file your 2020 tax return, the recovery rebate credit worksheet instructions on Form 1040 or Form 1040-R can also help you determine if you're eligible for this credit. Unemployment benefits. Unemployment income is subject to taxes and needs to be reported in your 2020 tax return. With millions of people receiving pandemic unemployment assistance in 2020, many may be looking at smaller refunds or taxes owed if taxes were not withheld from those payments. And finally, the Paycheck Protection Program, also called PPP. Congress passed the PPP to provide economic assistance for small businesses and help preserve jobs for many Americans. A forgiven PPP is tax exempt. However, using the PPP loan can also reduce the number of tax write-off you can take on your business. The IRS has said expenses paid from the forgiven PPP loans will not be deductible. So as a result, you may owe more taxes than you normally would in comparison to previous years. The PPP Flexibility Act went into effect in June 2020 and allows you to still defer these taxes after a PPP loan is forgiven. 50% of the deferred taxes that accumulated in 2020 must be paid by December 31st of 2021, and the remaining 50% of the deferred amount must be paid by December 21st, 2022. As you wrap up your taxes for the 2020 tax year, keep in mind that working with a tax professional can help you make sense of your unique tax situation. Myself and Five Star Real Estate do not give tax advice, and we highly recommend you work with a tax specialist for additional guidance. I'm Rachel Brock with Five Star Real Estate. And as always, please comment, like, or share this video with anyone you think it may benefit. Thank you for watching and have a great day.